Hi there, so in this video we are going to see anonymous function in TypeScript. So make sure that you have TypeScript installed. If not, then go to typescriptlang.org and here you can click on download button and choose the respective download for your operating system. Okay, in case of Windows, all you have to do is install Node.js and then install TypeScript command line. Okay, after that you will be able to execute TypeScript compiler commands such as tsc-v that will show the version of TypeScript on your system. Next thing, open editor inside which you have this boilerplate code such as this. Simply point to the JS file that gets compiled after we execute our TypeScript file. In my case, demo1.ts is TypeScript file and demo1.js is javascript file okay so i have linked to that javascript file inside my html page okay now the thing is we are going to create one anonymous function let's name it var msg equals to function and then inside this function simply use return then hello typescript Okay, now after that simply use document dot write and call to this variable which is basically a anonymous function and it will return hello TypeScript message. So let's compile and see how it works. Now tsc then demo1.ts. Now it compiles to a JavaScript file and when we reload our HTML page, it should show this hello TypeScript message. Now there is one more thing about anonymous function that you can pass parameters to it as well. Now let's take a look at one example where we are going to add parameters to our anonymous function. So simply use var msg equals to function and here inside that function let's say I want to pass a adds string and then b adds string as well okay so I want to concatenate two strings so simply use return then a plus b okay and here in document dot write I am passing msg and here I'm passing hey and then TypeScript as my second string. So I'm passing these two strings to my anonymous function and it should return the concatenation result. So simply open command prompt, type in tsc demo.t1.ts and it should compile properly. Now open your browser and reload and you get hey TypeScript. TypeScript. You can change this to let's see hello and TypeScript and then compile it again. Let me reload and you get hello and TypeScript message. Okay, so you get the idea of how to create an anonymous function and also how to use anonymous function with parameters.